Yeah, I think it settled in once we uh, made the drive yesterday. So uh, kids are here, wife's here. We're all having a good time so far. And, uh, you know, it's an exciting time for, for me and my family, and we're looking forward to it. Why was Calgary such a good fit for you? Uh, I mean, it's just uh, you look at the, the group and what they were able to accomplish last year, and um, the core of this team is um, only going to get better. They have a good group of young players and uh, great leadership. So I think it's just... Uh, uh, it's an appealing spot for, for any goaltender to want to play, so I'm uh, extremely fortunate to have landed here. It's no secret you haven't had like, the deepest decor in the for a lot of your career. What's it going to be like having a Norris Trophy winner and a good young core of D-Man ahead of you? Uh, it's going to be, um, you know, like I said, exciting for myself. I mean, anytime you can uh, play behind a, a Norris Trophy winner, and obviously he's the, the backbone of this team and drives this team, so I've heard nothing but good things about Gio. And, and uh, his leadership abilities and also he compliments uh, a lot of the young guys too so like i said it's uh it's a very deep team and i'm looking forward to be a part of it are there any players in particular that you're looking forward to having in front of you rather than attacking you uh obviously johnny he's extremely dangerous anytime he's out on the ice uh sean's got a heck of a release from that uh, spot on the power play so obviously uh we always scouted that out quite a bit when I was in Edmonton. Um, they just have so many weapons on this team. I mean, like I said, it's, it's extremely deep from the four, first line down to the fourth line. And, and uh, you know, one of the best decors in the NHL. So um, I'm looking forward to, to being on this side of it for sure. Yeah, it's secret that uh, last year wasn't, wasn't the kind of year that you're used to. What do you need to do to make sure that you get back on track? Uh, you know, just come in, refresh, and, you know, just kind of let it slide, have a short-term memory. I think it's uh, easier said than done sometimes, but um, last year, um, you know, was an outlier in my career. I am just want to come in here, prove that, uh, you know, I've still got a lot of hockey left in me, and uh, there's no better team to do it than this. Do you study uh, the systems as well? Did that have anything to do with you signing here in Calgary, the way that they play? I mean, playing for uh, Bill at World Championships um, obviously helped. I know the kind of style that he plays and the system that he plays. So obviously it's, uh, um, you know, a lot more defensive style of game. But obviously this team can put up a, a lot of points as well. So there's a lot of skill up front and they put, put the puck in the net. But I think the defensive structure on this team is obviously solid as well. So uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's a great spot to, to land here. And obviously I'm excited to play behind a group like this. And Cam, how about coming into a situation with David Riddick, who, you know, took his game to a different place? Your thoughts on being part of that pairing? Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to meeting David and to just compliment him. You know, he's, uh, he's a good young goaltender. Like you said, he took his game to a, another level last year, uh, had a heck of a season. And uh, just coming in here and trying to, uh, to compete and push each other to be better and looking forward to being part of that tandem. Um, life lesson, uh, you know, it's just, you know, take everything in stride, I think. It's just, you know, anytime you have a season like that, it puts things into perspective a little bit. You know, things aren't always going to go your way. It's how you can battle back and, and make yourself better in the long run. So uh, I'm looking forward to doing that this summer, coming into camp refreshed and looking forward to get going with the new group. Cam, could you have ever imagined a year ago that this story would have played itself out for you the way it has? Uh, being completely honest, probably not, no. Um, you know, it's kind of an odd feeling coming down uh, Highway 2 and coming to play on the other side of the Battle of Alberta, but it's also an exciting time. So um, we're looking forward to being part of this group. My family's looking forward to being part of this community and uh, can't wait for September. Have you talked to the team about a jersey number yet? Uh, we've thrown around a few ideas. Obviously, Dave's got 33, so uh, haven't decided on anything just yet, but, uh, you know, haven't worn anything other than that in the last 13 years, so it's going to take some time to decide. Do you think it'll strike up a negotiation? No, no, that's his number. I'm not a guy to come in and take somebody's number. Well, so. just said I have a price for it, a jersey number. Yeah, that's what I heard. I don't think I can afford that price. So uh, that's uh, not not in uh, not in my wheelhouse, so I think I'll just go ahead and pick a different number and leave Dave at 33. Are you looking forward to working with uh, Singlet? Yeah, I've had a few conversations with him already. I've heard nothing but good things about him. Um, you know, the goalie coach in Edmonton always talk very highly of him. So I think it should be a, a good relationship, and I'm looking forward to getting going with him and Dave. Cam, being in a Canadian market and a tough Canadian market in Edmonton, when you went through this whole process, did you ever think about, do I want to be in another, you know, everything is analyzed every second type place again? I mean, it's... It could go both ways, right? If things are going well, it can be, you know, a confidence booster. If things aren't going so well, it, it can wear on you a little bit. But I think that's where you have to kind of, you know, 
not look, not read into that too much and just focus on what you can control. And I think that's um, something I'm looking to do this season. And um, obviously this is a, another big hockey market. I'm looking forward to, um, you know, to being part of this community and part of this process. On uh, July 1, uh, Brad told, talked to us about some of the rationale behind bringing you in. And one of it was sort of, you know, your attributes as a person and how you as a person will compliment uh, David Riddick. I guess for, for you, is that coming off the year you had, does that give you some confidence sort of heading into a brand new situation? Definitely. I mean, um, anytime that, uh, you know, the, your new manager says uh, says stuff like that about you, makes you feel, you know, like you're coming into the right situation. And, uh, you know, I've always tried to carry myself properly and work hard on and off the ice and, and be a leader in the room. So um, if I can bring that to, to this group and, you know, contribute any way I can on and off the ice, then that's what I'm looking to do. I didn't honestly know that until uh, Brad had said something. So, I mean, that's stuff that goes on behind the scenes that most of the time we're not even aware of as players. So um, I knew that Calgary might have been interested back then, and there's a few other teams. But obviously, I, I landed in Edmonton and, um, you know, had a, had a great time there. But, um, yeah, I honestly couldn't tell you how close I came. That's more for Brad to discuss. But uh, I'm here now, and I'm looking forward to it.